everybody, Richard Pie Guy here. Today we're gonna to do an update on the current status of the Raspberry Pi 5. So it's been about eight or nine months since the Raspberry Pi Foundation first announced its plans to take on this project. And they were very vague as to what it would entail and what the advancements would be from the current product line from Raspberry Pi. They currently have the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, which is offered in two, four, and eight gigabyte RAM options. They vaguely talked about potentially updating the HDMI ports from micro to regular size HDMI. They also talked about updating the power supply and also offering some additional RAM options. So maybe going up to a 16 gigabyte RAM option. And there has been just some back and forth disputes as to whether that would be necessary. And it really just boils down to what you plan to use Raspberry Pi product for. If you're into retro gaming like I am using RetroPi, then 16 gigabyte RAM option would really have no effect on you because you don't use that much RAM. But for other more advanced projects that do require more RAM, it would definitely give you some additional options and may be useful to some. So unfortunately, with the current situation going on with chip shortages, none of this really matters because currently this chip shortage has just gotten worse and worse. It's affected so many different industries, primarily electronics, but computers especially, as well as cars. Cars are a big one. You can't even get a brand new car these days. In most cases, you have to go on a wait list because of this chip shortage. So this has affected the Raspberry Pi Foundation's products because they're no longer able to produce and manufacture these at the rate that they really need to to keep up with the demand for them. So right now, at the time of this video, they're about eight or nine months backlogged on the Raspberry Pi 4 computer board. So again, this is offered in three di different RAM options, but the four gigabyte RAM is the most popular and the hardest to come by these days, primarily because I think it is the preferred choice for most people. Again, I'm into retro gaming using RetroPie, and the four gigabyte RAM is the ideal setup for retro gaming. So with them being eight or nine months backlogged, that means that they're no longer able to actually manufacture these as quickly as they need to. So taking on a brand new product line would just be absolute insanity and would just set them up for failure. It would also overextend them. So it really makes absolutely no sense to take on that project. So they've really just canceled this entire project for the time being. It doesn't mean they're not gonna do it in the future. I'm 100% positive that we will see a Raspberry Pi 5. I just don't think it's going to be for at least two more years. Again, eight or nine months backlogged means that if we're in April right now, we're a couple days away, but that means April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. So end of November into December at least until they're no longer backlogged. But that is being super optimistic and assuming that they hit no snags along the way. That also happens to be the holiday season where we see a massive increase in purchasing. We saw it back in 2020, a massive increase with Raspberry Pi purchases leading into the holiday season. So that's typically going to be the case. I think we're going to see that again, if they're even available by then or readily available. The other issue that I foresee happening once they get back to normal and start putting these out, even if they do limited releases, is we're going to see a lot of people swooping in and trying to buy up an abundance of these and then hoarding them to flip at a higher price. So the price point, let's take the Raspberry Pi 4, four gigabyte RAM option, for example, used to retail at $55. As this shortage started to spiral out of control at the time of, I think it was about three or four months ago, I did an update video on the current status and we were seeing a price increase on this four gigabyte RAM version, which again went for $55 originally, it was selling for $150. Now I just saw yesterday on Amazon, a couple of these went up and they sold for $230, which is insane. I'm not sure, my math is terrible, but that is a massive increase in price. So we're just seeing an insane price increase here. And this is individuals that are selling them. So let's say somebody had five of these sitting on the shelf somewhere, they realized, hey, these are worth more money than I paid, they start flipping them. And there are a lot of websites out there that are going to be putting in some verification into effect to try to limit people from buying mass amounts of these. I saw, um, I usually go through Chicago distributors. That's who I like to buy Raspberry Pis from in the past. They were limiting when they did have some available a few months back, they were limiting them to one per person. But unfortunately, that's super easy to get by. You could create a new email address, you could ship to a different address, use a different credit card, 
and there's really no way to verify that you're not the same person that just ordered you know with another card at another address with another email address so uh, Adafruit, I know, is putting in some verification to try to limit that as well, which is really cool to see. It's nice to see companies and um, online retailers being proactive because they know that this issue is going to come up. We've seen that now with PlayStation 5s and many other um, electronic products that are super popular today. But no matter what happens, we're still going to see different snags that come up along the way like that, that prolong this entire process. So I personally feel like we're probably at least a year and a half away from seeing the Raspberry Pi's products become readily available and not being taken advantage of and selling for an obscene price, uh, you know, with people hoarding them and flipping them and all that. So all of that is going to unfortunately, you know, drag this whole thing out. And I don't likely think that we are going to see the Raspberry Pi 5 um, actually get released for you know, upwards of two years at least, probably closer to three in all honesty, but uh, I'll be optimistic and say at least two years. So nothing has been confirmed there other than the fact that they are no longer actively pursuing this project at the current time. But I hope we do see a change in this. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully, you know, tomorrow uh, somebody makes an announcement that the chip shortage is over and everything's gonna go back to normal. But um, you know, I live in a real world here and I don't think that's gonna happen. So wish I had better news to share with you guys, but I will be following this story and I'll be doing updates as I have in the past to kind of keep you guys in the loop as to, you know, where we are currently at different times. So that's gonna do it for this video. Again, wish it was better news, but it's better to be informed than totally in the dark with this stuff. So that's going to do it for today, though. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comments section. Always happy to answer your questions as best I can. Uh, best way to stay in the loop, though, here is to hit the subscribe button because, again, I will be doing future videos tackling these topics. So definitely hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching.